Hey, good morning, you guys. So this morning I'm gonna be milking the cow. It's something I do every morning, uh, but I haven't included in any videos because I usually do it at about five in the morning and it's dark at that time. So take you along with us today, show you how we milk the cow. We do everything by hand. And we get about a half gallon of milk every day because I only milk once a day. We do what's called a, a calf share. So we still have the baby calf. We put him on the second half of the day. We separate him at night so the milk can build up for us first thing in the morning. Works out pretty good. We only, only got to milk once a day and then some days I, I don't milk at all if we're planning a trip or something. So that works out because we still got the calf. He takes the milk when we don't want it. Is a little downside to that. I, I have noticed the days that whenever we didn't milk for maybe three days, uh, milk supply went down probably by half. She probably only gave us a quart of milk, but in a few days, uh, it built right back up. So, I'm go ahead and get her a little feed so she'll stand still for us. Fourteen percent sweet food and alfalfa pellets. Because we've got poor forage here, that's why we do a good bit of grain as well. Supplements what they're not getting out on the hill. Everybody else thinks they're going to get a snack too. Watch. <laughs> All of the bucket. I fed you guys yesterday. Go on. Can't break the habit. Ah! And here she is waiting. She's probably mad by now because I usually milk way earlier in the morning. Watch out. I'm a high tech knot. I'm done. Bust my butt. All right. Her feed set up here. A little bit of hay in there keeps her from eating her grain so quick. See, now she's going in there wrong. Back. Back. Come on. Get in there the right way. We've got a headstock here. Real simple. Two pieces of top rail, chain link top rail. They hinge down at the bottom and latch right here this one I always leave in and then this is the one I put back and the move back and forth they both can move so I'm gonna get you guys set up and then we'll start milk all right so the first thing we got to do is get her cleaned up she's gonna get antsy on me because I've been setting up my camera while she's been eating she's about out of her grain so I'm gonna work quick here and as you can see, she gets pretty dirty overnight. That's probably the dirtiest she's been. I need to get a scrub brush and scrub her, her thigh off here. Anyway, come on, honey. Just a little bit of Dawn and water. 
Scrub, scrub, scrub. Bad part is I don't have a stall that I can put her in separate from where I milk. So the stall that she milks in is the stall she sleeps in every night. So she gets it quite messy. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Get her clean. And you don't ever get them 100%, but I always try to get the tips of the teeth as clean as I can. That's where the milk's coming out. Otherwise, your hands just smell like cow poop. And mine do every day. And dry her off. Come on, Flora. Come on, honey. I encourage her to just put her feet in the right place so you can get in the milk. So I don't use a bucket to milk, I just use half gallon jars because I get a half gallon of milk. all hand milk. phase all right getting all my rags packed up all right now to strain the milk I've just got this big funnel and I use coffee filter and a mesh screen super easy they make commercial filters that are outrageously expensive so this is the best thing I've come up with and it works just as good you could also probably use a cheesecloth and you get the same results
date on our lid and get this right in the fridge. Try to get it in the fridge within 30 minutes to an hour of milking. We will not develop any bad bugs in there. That's all I've got for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video and share it on your social media. Thanks.